be like, what's up, guys? It's Cloud Pop Pie. And yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, it is. And the person you all know and love, Scud Pony. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be playing Re Alistair Plus Plus. Yeah. Yep, so let's start What's a new game. Oh shit. As soon oh. as you click it, it like throws you in. Whoa. Alright. Um Hmm. I guess do you wanna be that person? Rui of the Sword? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. No, 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 I'll be the next person. You go ahead. Look at this. I don't... There's, like, stuff on the side. Is I... this, like, a... No, I mean, it's a it's a dating sim. Oh, you know what? I bet she's playing a game. Yeah. All look, right. look at this guy's huge-ass nipple rings. <laughs> that looks fucking awful. <laughs> Heal, please. I like those two, um... <laughs> those two golden rings right where his balls are. <laughs> yeah, he has his, his balls pierced. Fiona Wings casts Holy Light. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Oh, I guess I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but are you really sure we can do this? What do you mean? Blade of Hundred Strikes. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. We've been fighting for so long. I think this boss might be too much for us. Are you kidding? He hardly has any HP left. Swift slash. Oops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm already almost out of magic points and I don't have any more recovery points. Cry, cry. Cry. <laughs> recovery potions. <laughs> Wait, I think this Fiona Wings is the main character. Do you want me to be her? Or... Yeah, you can be her. Or do you want to oh, be we'll her? Switch roles. Switch roles. Okay. I'll be all the men voices. Okay. <laughs> I'll be the men. <laughs> Maybe we should train more before we try this boss again. But I, re <laughs> but I really <laughs> want that blessed stone! Blade of the Hundred Strikes! Besides, it's almost out of HP. I bet I could get it with one more attack. But are you out of skill points? Don't worry. It'll only take a minute to recharge, and I can take him down with another swift slash. If you say so. Alright, all charged up. Here I go! Swift slash! <laughs> blade of... Oh, Alistair uses Blade of Darkness. Troll Alistair has defeated the Mount. troll of Mount Morning. Mount Morningwood. Aww. Oh my god, they're so cute. A bunch of dots. Alistair has received a blessed stone. Ooh. Dot dot dot. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It looks like a girl. Is that a girl? I the... guess. I can't tell. Hey you, Alistair! <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh, I get... is that you or is that me? Uh, <laughs> Alistair must be a dude. So... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That was my kill, you shit! <laughs> ah, fuck the sensor! Rui, calm down before you get a warning from the global moderator. Oh god, it's like League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rui, you wouldn't want the mods to come down on you. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Shut up, you're the reason I'm mad in the first place. Uh, oh, why is that? <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> you know very well. You stole my kill, and you know that blessed stone is rightfully mine. Meh. The way I see it, I saved you from getting killed in a boss battle. <laughs> saved me? He was about to strike, and you were too busy powering up to notice. And from the looks of your friend's stats, she doesn't have enough MP to resurrect you. Heh, <laughs> she sucks. And she looks like Janna. Whoa, man. Shit. If I hadn't come along when I did, you'd find yourself waking up in some start town with 15% less experience, you scrub. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not thinking you, Baka. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> Fiona and I were doing just fine on our own, and I want that blessed stone. Well, it's mine. Wow. 
No, it's mine. I want it back. Oh. Roy of the Sword has challenged Alistair to a duel. Uh-oh. Are you sure you want to do this? Don't tell me you're scared. I just feel beaten bad beating you down. That's all. Well, you don't have to worry about that. If you in insist. <laughs> Alistair has accepted Roy of the Sword's challenge. Oh god. Connecting to PvP Arena. Oh! Uh, what? Oh, I said- I wonder uh, who this is. Got I All right. the screen in shock for a few moments, trying hard not to let out a scream. Finally, I slam my hands down on the table. The keyboard in front of me shakes, and a student using the computer next to me stares at me in surprise. What? Oh! Okay, that's the main character. Oh, okay, you can play her. Okay, I glare at him quickly, and he quickly- Oh, I, gl I glare at him, and he quickly looks away. <laughs> that's how! <laughs> the computer lab is surprisingly empty right now. I glance at the clock on the wall. Lunch will be over in ten minutes. Figures. I always lose track of time when I'm playing Rivenwall online. Rivenwall. Fuck. Still, darn this school's spotty internet connection. I'll bet that I automatically forfeited that duel. That Alistair jerk must think I'm some sort of coward. <laughs> I know that feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when your league closes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I refresh the screen, but the blinking message on my monitor informs me there's still no internet connection. Ugh, what if it's not a clean disconnect? Alistair could be hacking away at poor defenseless Rui. I bet he would, too. The struggle. This <laughs> is so real. I have to get back online right now, but it's not like refreshing my screen over and over is going to make things magically work. I need an expert. I scan the computer lab, looking for someone who might know what they're doing. How, how is an expert going to suddenly give you internet connection? Maybe I'll know. Aha! At the far end of the lab, leaning back in a dark corner, a guy is typing away furiously on his machine. <laughs> That's you. That's you right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. He's in here a lot, especially when the computer games club has meetings. I quickly approach him and flash my most charming smile. Hello. <laughs> he doesn't respond. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hello. That's so awkward. Oh, this is you. This is you. I heard you the first time. Then why didn't you answer me? <laughs> I did. I nodded. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you just weren't paying attention. Is this conversation going anywhere? Oh, this guy is so rude. No wonder he spends so much time with computers. I bet he doesn't even have a girlfriend. Um, yeah, you're in the computer games <laughs> club, right? <laughs> he raises an eyebrow, as if I just asked a painfully stupid question. I'm the president of the computer gaming club, Travis. Or haven't you noticed, Scrub? <laughs> what a fucking dick! Oh, I, I didn't know. I'm surprised. You're always here in the lab playing your silly little online game while we're meeting. But I suppose you never bothered to pay any attention to us, though. Otherwise, you would have known. Right. <laughs> Such a jackass! <laughs> yeah, just a bit! <laughs> yeah! How on earth do the other members put up with this guy? So, you know how to fix computers, right? I don't know, her, that voice seems a little too high-pitched for her. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll do the next one next time. His <laughs> eye twitches, only slightly, but it's obvious that he's annoyed. Maybe. Well, the internet is down. <laughs> 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 Travis lets out a long sigh, rubbing the sides of his head slowly before he turns to face me. Listen, uh... <laughs> oh, shit, I don't know what kind of voice I'm gonna do for her. Just, like... Um... Maru? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like high-pitched, like, she's a gamer. Maru? It's like exactly the you same. Can, you can form into your own voice. Yeah. Oh, this guy's, look how big his forehead looks up there. <laughs> up there. <laughs> looks really weird. It does. I think it's mostly his... Look at the distance between his eye and his ear. That's what I'm looking at. That's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Marui. Maru. Ma I don't know how to... 
I don't know. <laughs> he shakes his head as if he doesn't really care. <laughs> Fixing computers does not work the way you think it does. Oh yeah, I'm doing oh. pretty good with this condescending. Yeah, yeah oh. you are. <laughs> he measures each word out slowly and carefully as if he's speaking to a small child. Ugh, what should I do? He's a dick. Do you, um, do you think I should argue or play on his pride? Mm, I'd probably play on his pride. Just to fuck with him. Alright. Let's see, so what kind of place? What? What kind of voice should I do for her? Mmm. I'm sorry. I just thought since you knew a lot about computers, you'd be able to fix it. I'm sorry. I just thought since you knew a lot about computers, you'd be able to fix it. I'm sorry. I just thought that you knew a lot about <laughs> computers. I'm sorry. I just thought since you knew a lot about computers, you'd be able to fix it. Okay. Uh, I'll do the next line. <coughs> <laughs> but I guess I overestimated you. <laughs> A little nasally. Exactly. Oh, 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 Travis's oh, eye twitches oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's like pissed. Why is he mad? It's fine. A lot of people make that mistake. His voice is laced with bitterness. I think I really hit a sweet spot. But seeing as you hold so much faith in me, I'll see what I can do about the internet connection if you can solve a quick puzzle for me. What the fuck? Who does that? A puzzle? <laughs> a puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine you're in one of your silly online games and there are two classes knights and demons. Uh... Knights and demons are exactly the same in all ways but one. Knights always tell the truth, and demons always lie. So? You run into two of these guys, and you know that one must be a knight, and one must be a demon. How? He rolls his eyes. You just do. Anyway. <laughs> I like how the music stops. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, you're only allowed to ask one yes or no question. How do you figure out which is the knight and which is the demon? Um, you ask one of them if he's a knight? Wrong. Now, if you'll excuse, excuse me, I have to get to class. I suggest you do the same because I'm a dick. Wait! Who likes is to there even a right answer? <sighs> it interrupts. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. He grabs a messenger bag from the ground, slings oh, it over his shoulder, a messenger bag. and walks off. He's one of those guys! Oh, oh do you see him just fly off screen? He's just like, <laughs> see ya! <laughs> Peace! <laughs> <laughs> Before I have any time to think about his puzzle any longer, the warning bell rings. I grab my books and dash off to class. Class! There we are! I slide into the only empty seat left in the class just as the bell rings. Phew! Safe. The teacher begins her lecture, and I summarily, 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 summarily ignore her, contenting myself with doodling a series of flowers on my handout. Since we've just concluded our section on ancient civilizations, we'll be doing a term project on it. You will be split up into teams of two. Whoever is sitting at the table with you will be your partner. Oh, I bet it will be a sexy guy. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher. I glance at the person sitting next to me. He's huddled up in the corner, staring mindlessly out the window. Is he sleeping? You and your partner will submit an eight-page report and give a five-minute presentation on the topic of your choosing. I will give you the rest of the class to discuss an appropriate topic with your partner. Great. A project with some sleeping kid. You better not make me do all the work. I turn to face him. He appears to be awake, but he's completely spaced out. Uh, hey. Oh, he's got the beats. He does. The joy beats, boy. I wave my hand, trying to get his attention. I'm Maru. We're supposed to be working together. I don't know why this voice just came back. I guess it's, I guess it's just fate. <laughs> because I can't not do it. Uh, let's see. Yeah? 
So what's your name? Shiro. Cool, nice to meet you. He's still not looking at me. In fact, he's staring so hard at the window, I'm starting to wonder if the meaning of life is written on it or something. Are, are you okay? His face blushes a bright red. I'm fine. You, you don't look okay, are you sick? N no, I, I just... He glances to the side and shifts uncomfortably. We should pick a topic. Is there anything you like? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything you want to talk about? Not really. Ugh, another uncooperative guy. Just my luck, running into three jerks in a row. Three jerks? Three? Who's... Oh, Alistair. Oh, Alistair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I was like, uh, <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> At least Shiro isn't mocking me. It's obvious that Travis was just making fun of me with that stupid riddle of his. No matter what I ask, those dumb demons will always lie. So how on earth can I tell which is which? It's impossible. What? Said why am I off. why am I standing now? <laughs> yeah. oh, he's so cute. shocked. He's really cute. Shira looks at me, a bit startled by my sudden declaration. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I was just thinking. About what? Knights and demons. D demons? <laughs> so weird. Well, not demons exactly. Liars. Knights always tell the truth, and demons always lie. Oh, you're supposed to ask, would the person with you claim to be a knight? Shira's face suddenly brightens. Huh? It's a riddle, right? One always tells the truth, and the other always lies. Y yeah So you have to ask... Would the person with you claim to be a knight? If you ask directly, both the truth teller and the liar would claim to be a knight. So you have to ask about the other one. If the knight answers, he will tell you truthfully that the demon with him will claim to be a knight. If the demon answers, he will lie and say that the person with him won't claim to be a knight. And then you can tell the difference! Wait, so okay, so I'm confused. So knight demon... Is the person with you knight? The liar would say no. Yeah, and then the knight would. Uh... The knight would also say no. Oh, he would say yes. So that one's that one's telling the truth. The one that says yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Shiro smiles proudly as he explains the riddle to me. Good job, Shiro. <laughs> I think I get it. It's a little complicated, but it makes sense. I think. Still, you're pretty smart to figure that out. Huh? No, I, I've just heard it before. I really like puzzles, you see. It's a really well-known riddle. I see. Shiro, Marui. Fucking <laughs> 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 weird ass teacher. <laughs> just, I just Marui. I do the fuck you say your name, you simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> I trust that you're already getting chatty like this. You've already chosen a topic. From across the room, the teacher eyes us carefully. Oh, sorry! Ah! <laughs> she looks so shocked. <laughs> I turn back to Shiro. We should pick a topic, huh? Yeah. He's back to his recluse self again. We really need to talk about this project, but he seems like he doesn't want to talk. Uh, uh, we've already asked him for a topic, so we should probably just suggest one. Yeah, I don't want to be weird naggy. Why don't we do our report on Greece? I thought it... Oh, fuck. I thought studying that was kind of <laughs> fun. Kind of. Uh, Greece is a really wide topic. We should probably narrow it down. Okay, what about Athens? That's an important Greek city, and it's focused enough topic for us, right? That sounds good. I scribble down Athens in bold letters in my notebook. At least we have a topic now. The bell rings, and we quickly gather up our books. Um... What's up? Shira hands me a folded sheet of notebook paper. What is this? It's my email address. We should stay in touch. Oh, good idea! And I love you. 
Mama. I open the paper and there's a dick drawn on it. Oh. <laughs> what if? I tear the sheet in half, scribble my email address down, and hand it to him. Here you go. He nods and smiles, a bit before walking off, clutching his books to his chest. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Bye! As soon as he leaves, I tear off I tear I tear, I tear off, off down the hallway towards the computer lab. As I turn the corner, I nearly collide with another student, but I quickly skid to a halt and wind my way around him. Sorry! This month, the school is offering an after-school work program for students who want to make extra money. It's only, it's only menial tasks, like mailing envelopes or calling people to ask for donations, but I could always use the spare cash. Even though I get allowance on the weekend, more money couldn't hurt. However, the work program doesn't start for another 30 minutes. So now is the perfect time to check on how Rui's doing. We'll just call her Rue. Rue, yeah. Yeah. I wait impatiently outside the computer lab as students file out. Finally, I rush in and grab the nearest computer. I wonder if the internet is working again. <laughs> Here I am! <laughs> Worried about your game? Travis is standing in the doorway, smirking at me. He wants the pee. <laughs> the pee? The, the penis. <laughs> the pussy. <laughs> Dude, I watched uh, the interview. It, oh, was, was it, good? it was good. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, it's good. Why do you? Why do you care? I don't. You just look terribly anxious. I was wondering if it had something to do with that game of yours. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't feel like telling you. And by the way, I figured out the answer to that riddle of yours. No doubt. It's a fairly common one. After all, I was a bit disappointed that you hadn't heard it already, plebeian. But I'm no deal breaker. The internet works now, so you can have some fun. As if he did it. Did you fix it? No. I just waited, and it came back on its own. What do you think I could actually do about it? That's what I said. So you didn't hold up your end of the bargain? Neither did you, I assume. Or are you telling me that someone else didn't tell you the answer to my riddle? Uh, I thought so. See you around. <laughs> what a dick. He's such a fucking <laughs> conceited jerk. I hope he gets his someday. Now we're logging in. Current promotion, trade in 50 fluff a bit. Pause for a piece of lucky armor. <laughs> Rue of the sword has locked on. Game announcement. The PvP match you participated in with player Alistar has been cancelled due to inactivity from both parties. <gasps> oh my god, I bet he is Alistar! What, the guy with the black hair? Yeah! I don't know, all I know is whoever else was playing it was in the school. Because the internet went out. Yeah. For the school. Oh, I guess I'll be her. Oh wait, who's feeling- oh! Rui! Are you okay? What happened? We both have really high-pitched voices. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fiona. My internet connection dropped. I just got back on. I was so worried about you! Kawaii! Oh, yeah. Sorry. So if your connection dropped, does that mean you automatically forfeited to Alistair? Um, it doesn't look like it. Apparently he didn't do anything. Maybe he didn't want such an easy win. I don't think so. If he was willing to steal our kill, he'd definitely accept an auto forfeit. Oh, then maybe he logged off? Maybe. It seems weird that we both dropped at the same time. Maybe you just got lucky. Uh. What's wrong? Just thinking. Oh? <laughs> 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 eyes pop out. What if his connection dropped at the same time because we're both on the same network? I don't understand. I lost my connection because my internet died. What if Alistair was using the same internet connection as me? Uh, um, I guess that's a possibility. Where are you? At school. The school's net went down for a while, so you would have been logged off like me. Wait, you think Alistair goes to the same school as you? Yeah, it all makes sense. <laughs> totally. <laughs> People can lose internet connections for all sorts of reasons. What if his mom told him it was time to go to bed or something? No, it's too much of a coincidence. It has to be someone at the school. 
jump to conclusions. <laughs> I know, right? If you say so, but I think that's a stretch. No, it's perfect. That means I'll be able to exact my revenge in real life. Um, how do you plan to do that? What? If you do manage to find him, what exactly are you going to do? It's not as if you can just challenge him to a duel in real life. Uh, well, I guess I'll figure that out later. But the important part is... Revenge! I like that voice. What? Which one? The one you just used. Oh, okay. Are you sure about that? That guy deserves to pay for what he did. It, it's only an item in a game, though. It's not about the item. It's about being courteous online. I think that's a lot to ask for for people on the internet. <sighs> well, just because it's the internet doesn't mean we should give up our standards of decency. I guess so. But you really shouldn't jump to conclusions, okay? You might do something brash. When have I ever done anything brash? N never mind! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to make sure Rue wasn't dead. I've got to get going now. Um, I'll see ya. I guess this is um. Yeah, I don't know. Later. Rue, Rue the sword is locked off. Burp. I guess that person's just constantly online. <laughs> I log off Riven while online. And quickly bring up my school's network list. In the name of trust and honesty, the school keeps close tabs on all the students' computers' usage. I don't know how much trust it shows, but it's really handy for seeing who's on the network and when. Looking at this afternoon's logs, only four students were logged on when the internet dropped. That's convenient. <laughs> Naturally, I'm one of them. Shira was on too. Huh. He doesn't seem like a gamer though. He's probably just checking his email. Some guy named Derek Naveen. His name sounds familiar, but where have I heard it before? And... Travis? <laughs> oh, of course he was online. He was even sitting right behind me. I wouldn't be too surprised if he was Alistair. They both have rotten personalities. But Travis didn't seem too interested in Rivenwell Online. In fact, he said that it was a silly game. Maybe he doesn't play it after all. I guess that leaves Derek. I click on his student profile. Apparently he's on the student council. I guess that's where I've heard his name before. He's on the basketball team as well. They're practicing right now, so he's probably there. I hurry. I fucking stop. Let's this go guy. stalk him. Yeah, I hurry down the hallway and stop outside the school gym. I can hear shouts and the echoing boom of a basketball. And slowly, I crack the door open and peer in. Oh, oh my oh God! He has red in his hair. Oh. He has an ear piercing. Dude, he looks like a fucking fat. <laughs> I mean, look at his open shirt. Dang. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll see what he's yeah, like. Yeah, we'll see. The basketball players are rushing back and forth across the court. The current center of detention seems to be a guy with blonde hair and bright highlights. He races across the court. Expertly dribbling. <laughs> yeah, across the, the court. Expertly oh my god, dribbling. look at his shirt! What does it say? It says Chick Mag. Oh my god. Something about jealous with a little heart? Oh my god. Oh my god. Expertly dribbling the ball as he weaves back and forth. Oh. I remember seeing posters of him all over the school during elections. I guess he's Derek then. He looks like he really knows what he's doing. He doesn't look like a Derek. No, he looks like a sh shit bob. Shit bob. <laughs> Another player leaps in front of him, holding his arms out to block him. Derek pauses for a moment, then grins playfully at him and flake, <laughs> flake, fakes left before making a dash to the right. Grinning playfully. Oh, oh. oh that's such a playful grin. He skids to a halt in front of the basket as another player moves it to block him. Derek, over here! <laughs> One of his teammates <laughs> waves his arms to indicate that he's open, but Derek shakes his head and weaves around the player blocking him. <laughs> to the cheers of his teammates, he leaps into the air and dunks the ball into the net. That's enough showing off, Naveen. Take a water break. <laughs> a couple of guys surround Derek, clapping him on the back and laughing. Clapping One him of... on the ass. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> One of them leads toward him and points in my direction. Oops. I slammed the door shut, but not fast enough. In a few seconds, the door opens and Derek steps it's... down the hallway. What the fuck? Why? <gasps> <laughs> Shirt, 
try not to be jealous. It doesn't even say two.